of Jesus. Then they seized him and led him away, bringing him into the high priest's house. But Peter was following at a distance. When they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat among them. Then a servant girl, seeing him in the fire, stared at him and said, This man also was with him. But he denied it, saying, Woman, I do not know him. A little later, someone else, on seeing him, said, You also are one of them. But Peter said, Man, I am not. Then about an hour later still, another kept insisting. Surely this man also was with him, for he is a Galilean. But Peter said, Man, I do not know what you are talking about. At that moment, while he was still speaking, the cock crowed. The Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the cock crows today, you will deny me three times. And he went out and wept bitterly. Have you ever made poor decisions because you were frightened? I have. Times when I was afraid to speak up for fear of losing my job, my friends, and my family, the ones I love most. Or have you ever been afraid to defend someone who is special, or different, or an outsider as myself? because others in your family or work would ridicule you for taking a controversial stand for God. I know about that too. Possibly Peter denied his Lord because he was afraid. He was afraid for his life, for his family, and of course he, as do we, when alone and by oneself, he knew, he just knew, he denied his Lord. He loved Jesus. And so that reason alone he cried. And so do I. And so do we all.